Javante Davis and Connor Ben go back and forth. What does this mean? Mm, not much, in my opinion. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Connor Ben just fought yesterday against Pistol Pete Dobson. I have some questions. Where did Connor Ben's power mysteriously and magically go? I'll put a card at the end of this video. Check that video on the channel where I really break down that fight particularly. Post fight, you have Connor Ben who really got at Devin Haney after Devin Haney made some comments. And now another person smaller than the weight class, he's going at it with Javante Davis. I find the UK is in a bad spot. You got Tyson Fury pulling out of fights again, saying he has a cut. You have a lot of losses that we've seen from UK fighters. It's just, it's not looking good. People, they have this pressure for PBC fighters and Javante Davis, but nobody's mentioning why is Conor Ben son of a, a famous fighter why does he keep beefing with smaller fighters really weird if you're supposed to be next up like for example have you heard Gervonta Davis name mentioned by Jerron Boots Ennis like hey I'm trying to fight him or when Virgil Ortiz was at welterweight did you ever because I remember Connor Ben Virgil Ortiz and Jerron Ennis they were kind of linked like the top three next generation welterweights you don't really hear any of them talking about except for Connor Ben fighting Devin Haney and guys like Javante Davis nonetheless after his fight Connor Ben says Haney he wants to fight Chris Eubank Jr not Harry Errol Spence Brooks and Barrios any of the above next Eddie Hearn hashtag destroyer now he didn't even mention Javante Davis's name initially and I guess Javante Davis says, no funny the way you look last night. Give me three weeks in the weekend in Turks. And yo, this is grass. You hear me? So I guess Javante took shots at him. Errol Spence took shots. And then that created this back and forth with Connor Ben. Connor Ben responded, let's just wait. Jervon Palupa. That was horrible. Jervon Palupa to screen grab the conversation eddie hearn says done i mean it says it's coming don't worry eddie hearn slide in before the little fella gets mad and chins his misses i mean this british banter is pretty bad javante davis says no need we on the same page um Connor Ben responds, don't be all talk either. Let's make this happen next. Me and you, center of the ring, and we will see who's left standing, right? So supposedly he did, Javante Davis says, you doing too much talking now. Shut the F up and get to work, see you soon. So a lot of people are running with this. To me, it looks like Javante is trolling Connor Ben. I don't see them fighting, call me a pessimist, but I definitely don't see them fighting next. You know, that's just my personal opinion. He's saying that he wants to fight Conor Ben. I mean, you got Eddie Hearn, who doesn't really work with PBC all too often. I really think Javante Davis's fight is already like set. You even had coach Calvin Ford, who did a recent interview, and he says Javante Davis is going to fight an oldie but goodie or something like that to hint to who Javante Davis could be facing, right? So a lot of people, this is the part of boxing that I'm just being real with you. This is the element of boxing where you could really count me out of it. Like where it's just a bunch of Twitter and social media beef, like that does nothing for me. I don't even really wanna make this video, but I have an obligation to make videos regarding anything popping in boxing. It's the only reason I'm making this. I don't think the fight will happen with Conor Ben. Conor Ben didn't even look great versus Peter Dobson, in my opinion. Check out my post fight video. I think Gervonta is trolling and just, you know, making fun of Conor Ben because they've had an exchange of words in the past. Conor's really, you know, mad and, and biting in on it. I don't think Gervonta Davis 
is looking to do business with Eddie Hearn. He has this new situation, or at least PBC has a new situation with Amazon Prime. You know, there was a rumor. I could be wrong, but I could be very right. There was a rumor that Gervonta Davis could fight in the UK. So some people are saying, hey, this was all predetermined and this is all part of the script, part of the plan to bring Gervonta Davis. And a lot of people are suggesting that basically this is this was known about or it was some kind of done deal for them two to fight if Conor Ben got past Peter Dobson. Me personally, I'm not so sure of that, but that's just my opinion on it. I think Javante Davis will end up fighting someone else. I see a lot of people getting bent out of shape. Oh, he's not ready for Devin Haney at 140, but he could fight at 47. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I Like I said, seeing, seeing is believing. Right now, we're in a stage of boxing where there's just a lot of internet talk. And it's almost like out of boredom. Like you ever be, you ever be so bored in your personal life that you start looking in your contacts list of people you haven't talked to in maybe years like not really recently but back in the day people used to do stuff like this i used to do this like you look in your contacts list in your iphone and you're so bored you you might text somebody that you ain't heard from in years you ain't reached out to them in years they ain't reached out to you but an old chick or something you went to school with or used to work with and you just randomly hit them up on a whim seeing what they're up to that's what this seems like it seems like people are bored there's not hella fights that have been publicly announced for the public and people just get on x boxing twitter and just conversate it and you know it's almost like a slow news cycle where people Javante is the face of boxing so you put his name in a title is gonna get clicks right and Connor Ben, I'm not saying he doesn't want to fight Javante Davis, of course. Why wouldn't he want to fight someone smaller than himself? But I don't look for this fight to happen. I think Javante Davis's next fight is already pretty much wrapped up. And, you know, like I said, I could be wrong, but I could also be real right. Time will reveal. I think Javante Davis likes to sometimes get on the internet and troll people and get you know just get people mad and get people in their feelings and taunt certain fighters that he's not cool with like Conor Ben and I think that's ultimately what this is some people they think oh no you're wrong ego it's happening next show me all 2024 that's the energy I'm on show me don't tell me about it I don't want to talk about it I don't want to make a thousand videos about it with no real traction show me if Javante is fighting Conor Ben show me but in my heart of all hearts i truly believe gervonta davis when his next fight gets announced is not going to be conor ben again conor ben just fought at 2 30 on a saturday he didn't even have an amazing performance he failed a ped test and gervonta davis is already the face of boxing so he's already fought in the, in the uk against his mandatory back in the day so I, I don't really see that i don't see like that being the next move, he just came off a million plus pay-per-views. I don't even know how many pay-per-views buys Gervonta versus Conor Ben would even do. You know, it looks like Gervonta Davis is also in shape in recent pictures. So he could still make 35. Leonard Ellaby tells you that all the time. He's a 35 pounder. He looks like he's maintaining his weight. It's not like back in the day, five years ago, where Tank was looking kind of puffy in his off season. So he's managed his weight. There's nothing that indicates that we'll see Gervonta Davis in his next fight move up to 147 pounds to fight Conor Ben. So again, people bringing up Devin Haney. How can he not fight Devin at 140, but he's fighting Conor Ben and all this? Show me. That's all I'm going to keep saying. Show me because I don't see it happening next. I think Tank is just trolling, like I've said throughout this video. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Javante Davis, will he fight Conor Ben? Is he just trolling? Will that somehow manifest? I'm saying no. But at the end of the day, time will reveal who Tank Davis is fighting next. And that's the other thing is 
Tank is just hot news. So people have speculated he's fighting Pitbull Cruz. In the past, they said he was fighting Abner Mades. None of these fights happen next. Pitbull Cruz, we now know, is fighting Roley. So it's just a bunch of guessing game and speculation and a slow news cycle. So people are, you know, comparing it to Devin and saying, hey, how could you fight at 47? You got to show me this before. Like, if you want a real reaction from me, they got to announce this fight till then. This is what you get.